MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Rochester Red Wings and the Louisville Bats. And with that, here's a look at the visitors. Jude Hernandez gets his first cuts now. The bases are empty, and there are two away here in the opening frame. Yeah, nothing doing so far here. He kind of needs to put up a tough at-bat right here. Just And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. We've played an inning. Still nothing, nothing. Number 15 will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Well, I'll tell you what, I have him in my lineup every day. He's had eight RBIs over his last 10 games. Yesterday was just a little bit of an off day for him. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. A ball hit hard to the left side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see, and he was right on that one. Max Kepler will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. Well, his batting average is ugly, and his last 10 games have been ugly. Just two hits in his last 10. Has to be thinking strikeout here. High and deep to right center field. Waldrop ranging back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And the runner from second is in to score. And not in time as the second run scores. Yeah, he squared that one up pretty good. No chance to run this one down as you see it one hop the wall out there and he'll ease his way into second with a two run double. Number 15 steps in now. Shortstop, number 15. Hey, drive that pitch. Oh, here we go. Hey, here comes the first pitch. Go, big dog. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Silva is in pursuit and a diving effort in center, but he can't get a glove on it. Around second, he'll try for third. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Well, this is all about risk reward here. It's spectacular if you get a glove on it. If not, you got to get up off the deck and chase it down. At the plate, Max Kepler. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Boy, he had a great at-bat last time up, and he'll look for another hey, pitch he can on, drive right, right, here. right here. He's ready right here, with the 2-2 two -two pitch. Bounce towards the second baseman. Come on, come on, come on, oh, and he has some trouble with it. And to score is the runner from third. It's a 3-0 game. Boy, everything going Basement right for these guys 16. right now. This is going to wind up as an infield Dean. single. Another run is going to come across the score as they add on to their lead. Claudio Silva gets a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. Two down, runners at first Take and second. Grounded to short. Fielded cleanly on the second out. for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's one run on four hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We played four full. Rochester leads it three to one. Kyle Waldrop will stand in now, a punch out victim twice already. EK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, <laughs> it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game and you'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. And he's retired here one away. Number 15 will be the batter. Two for two with a triple to this point. Having a nice one at the plate. Number Looks to be very comfortable in the box right now. Yeah. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Here we go. Yeah. 
lined back over second. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. And he's well on his way to a nice series now. Third hit so far tonight. These guys are going to need his production here, so a welcome sign. Max Kepler will dig in here. Two for two with a double thus far. Yeah, and I like the at-bats he's had. Looking very confident and fluid at the plate, Matt. A pause and the 0-2. He's running towards second. Chopped weakly to the left. He's got it. And indeed, oh, no look, look at look, second. Look, He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. You know, guys, I'm not sure if this was really heads-up baseball or just flat-out crazy. Maybe it was just a... Kenny Dean will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. Well, not a great start at the plate. We'll see if he can get something to drive right here. To second. Dig, 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 dig. Ranges to his right. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And here with the infield back, they're giving you the run on a ground ball. So he just takes advantage of that and drives home the run. Hey, Ivan Ramirez strides in now, and we'll see if he can come through with two on and two out here in the sixth. Well, there's still a lot of this game left, but it is starting to get late. This is a big opportunity that they don't want to let slip away. Hey, left here. side, scooped up. And the throw will oh, not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. Now, you can see the pitching coach heading for the mound. And this is nothing more than just trying to reassure your guy and give him a chance to compose himself. He's been great so far, so there's no reason to think that he can't work out of this. Number 15 hey, stands in. Yeah, Number 15. Here's the first pitch to him. Mine to the right side. Boy, and that was some kind of effort out there. Here's a look at it. He's charging in hard, and this ball just kicks off his glove right there. This is going to be a base hit all the way, but it was nearly a super play. Digging in to try it again, Max Kepler. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hey, Nobody out, cool runner on first. There, hey, come on, big dog, get your pitch. He's going, he's going, runner he's going. goes for second. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that's in there for a base hit. Five, His five, third five. hit of the Six. game. And he is in there. Huh. It's Three just a perfect hit and run right here. With a left-handed hitter at the plate, that means the shortstop's the one to cover second, and this ball's grounded right through the spot where he was just standing. That's just a... Kenny Dean will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Hey, get your pitch up there. Come on, now. Hey, clutch up right here. Runners are at first and third with none out. Hey, get your pitch. No one better up there. On the ground to the right side. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run's in to score from third. Oh, and how big a run might that one turn out to be? This is going to make it a two-run game now, six to four. And you can bet they're going to keep pushing out there to get maybe. Number 15 steps in trying to make Number this a five-hit ball game. And I've got a great idea of how to pitch him here on this one. One word. Don't. Don't be afraid. Let it fly one time. He's set. Here it comes. Fun attempt, and it looks like a good one. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. Boy, and they have not, not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Max Kepler comes to the plate with the bases juiced, and it seems a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. Bases loaded here, nobody out. 
And he gets him swinging. What a big out there as there is now one away. Well, that shows me a lot right there. Third Basically, base, you've got him out twice. And how many times do you see that next pitch get roped for a double or missed by three feet to force in a run? He was able to put the miss. In now, Kenny Dean. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Yeah, and just Kenny another Dean simple Dean single to the outfield here would be big for these guys. It could score two. Right side. Reined in. Nine, Throw will be to first for the second out, but meanwhile, another run is in to score. Yeah, this one's going to... Now to the plate, Antonio Feliz. He's one for four for the game. Second and third, two away. Hit out towards second. Third, find the ball, find the ball. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. The Red Wings lead it 8-4. to four. James Ayers will stand in now. And, hey, give these guys credit. They're not going down without a fight. You're down now. I'll tell you what, they're not too far away from making a game out of this one after all. Plays it first. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Right to him. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Well, a pretty good offensive show of force in this one. Probably at least a couple of players deserving. But, gentlemen, let's go ahead and give this man the nod as our tops player of the game. Yeah, seemed like everything he touched turned to gold. He winds up with five hits in the game. Without question, a standout performance. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Red Wings win it 8-4. to four. Good night, everybody. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Red Wings. Eight runs on 15 hits. International League action just a few moments away, but as final preparations are being made, let's get a look at tonight's installment of the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Number 15 is our man to watch as he comes off one of his better showings of the year. His last contest, an impressive five-hit performance and really led the charge offensively for this ball club. Yeah, and let me tell you, getting five hits in a ball game is really tough to do. I mean, sometimes... The show's continuing coverage of minor league baseball is on the air. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Rochester Red Wings and the Louisville Bats. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. EK, any thoughts? Number 15. We'll see if he can keep the magic wand going. He was 5-for-5 five five in the ballgame last night. Well, you look at the average on the season, guys, and he's not sneaking up on anybody. Pretty amazing numbers for him right there. So yesterday's performance, obviously no fluke. And that is just past his outstretched glove, and that ought to be a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, we'll take a look at this pitch again. It's a high fastball, and there really aren't too many options here. Pretty much all you can do is try to slap that thing the other way. Just a good piece of opposite field hitting there.
Bobby Casilla will stand in. And as you can see, the numbers away from home. He's been much better once he gets out on the road. Get your pitch up. Stay through. Let's go. Runners on his way to third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. And taken in out there for the first out. Number 15 steps into the box. Number 15. Here we go. First offering on its way. Hey, come on, baby. See it. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Now and now you can't help but think back to that hitter. tag out from just Bobby a minute ago. Cassini. If he just stays where he is, he very likely scores on this ball. Instead, this one's going to wind up only being a one-out double. Hey, what Bobby Casilla is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. And after that pitch was called the ball on the pitch before, I mean, I think this actually qualifies as strike four. You know, on the mound, he's probably thinking, hey. Jarrett Foss in now, popped out in his first trip. Ready on one and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Kyle Waldrop comes to the plate looking to put the ball in play. He went down on strikes last time. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Down the first baseline. Oh, and he takes his eye off it there as it goes right past him into right. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. That average, it was up around 300. It's all the way down into the 270s here to start the ball game, but he's starting to show signs of coming around, and that was a good... Number 15 will dig in here. Two for two with a double thus far. Hit hard towards center. And another base hit for him. Now three for three in this one. Boy, these fans will be happy to see this guy leave town. That's for sure. He is absolutely eating him up here in this. Bobby Casilla will stand in now. A punch-out victim twice already. E.K., I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid that... Now, meanwhile, the throw to second is there, and he is out trying to steal the base. Uh, and he waited for his opportunity there, but it's not going to pan out this time as a good throw nails him at second. Eric Allison gets things started here in the sixth for the hometown team. Got no one. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hit to short. Played on the backhand. A quick out He's number out. one. The batter number nine, second baseman. Number 15 will come forward now in what could be an at-bat that goes a long way toward deciding this ball game. Let it fly yeah, now. And they better be careful, too, because they haven't gotten him out yet, so this is no small task. All right, here we go. Hey, no one better. Let's go, kid. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 
Swing and a ball driven to deep left center. The outfielders give chase, but this one is gone. A home run. So a two-run shot to left center, number 11 for him on the season, as it's now a three-all ball game. Boy, what a huge home run late in this ball game to tie it up. Number 15 steps in for a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Yeah, this is a huge moment in this ball game, Matt. I mean, you might be looking at this at bat. And that is down for extra bases. Is that on a plate the go ahead run and maybe another? Go ahead run heading for the plate. And to score, the runner from second. And he's, he's in, in there. there with a two run triple. Wow, have a day. He's just completed the cycle, folks. Wow, oh, this guy is on fire. Stay hot out there. You know, this is pretty cool because a cycle just doesn't happen that often. What do you see it once or twice in a year, unless your name's Aaron Hill, who did it twice in a year himself? So I'm pretty positive he's going to put this game right at the top of his career highlight reel. Hey, keep it going up there. Bobby Casilla strides forward now with a very important insurance run standing over at third. Yeah, this one's been a well-played, close game, so that's a big run down there. Ground ball left side. Backhanded. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Rochester leads it 7-5. to five. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game Award? And you know, a cycle is about the equivalent of a no-hitter for a pitcher. It's one of the rarest things you can do on a baseball field. So no doubt he's going to wind up our player of the game. So that's a wrap here tonight. Eric Karros, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've Here been watching MLB The School. Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The Red Wings win it 8-7. Good night, everybody. For the bats, seven runs, 11 hits, no errors, they left.